All right, bro. So basically, right? This I don't expect this to be a long video for real, but basically, bro. In this video, bro, all I'm be telling you is things that you probably didn't know that you could probably have looked over. You know, that's useful though. That's useful, right? We're not gonna talk about how you can get 25 bands from the dude up there. That's that's free. That's literally so free. Now, all right. So right, I'm at one of the two spawn islands, right? If you go to the different, if you go to another spawn island and you want to go there, or if you want to set your spawn there, talk to the innkeeper and he'll let you set your spawn. That's how I got here, cause I did not spawn here. I spawned at Ethereum, right? Not Isle of Visuals, right? Another thing that you should know. What was I about to say, bro? Isle of Visuals, bro. Yeah, I mean it depends on how you see it, though. Actually, yeah, all of Vigils is better for training stats and getting levels early. For the fact that they have the training people down here. Let me let me go down here and show you where the training people are. This is another thing you should know, bro. All of Vigils got training guards down here. If you put on your, um, like, say you got some training equipment. You put on uh, the training vest while you fight the dude. Yo, bro, your fortitude is going to go up like crazy, bro. I'm telling you. If you fight, if you fight dudes down here with the vest on, your forty-two go go up like crazy. All right, let me show you where they at. All right, so you go here, boom. You talk to this dude, he'll put you in with him. I ain't gonna fight him because that's just gonna take too long, and they are kind of annoying. But that's that's that goes with all NPCs, bro. They just kind of annoying sometimes. They be parrying too much for real. It, I mean, you can do something about it, but still, that's not just annoying. Uh, do I got any? Oh, at the other spawn place with the, uh, with the blacksmith, right? He has his apprentice, like, sitting, like, basically, like, say you, I'm trying to, like, make it, because, you know, I can't really show it, because I'm not at the island. So, say you walk in, right? The dude over there, right? There's an exit right here. You go over here, and you turn to the left, and the dude should be right here. If you talk to him and don't rat him out, he'll give you a discount on everything. So, you know how he'll give you a half off discount. So, gold is 50, it'll cost 25. Uh, cloth is 6, it'll cost 3. It's only at that island if I'm if I'm pretty sure. Let me look. Right? Yeah, it's only that way. Dang, I'm poor, bro. What the? It don't matter. Another thing you should know if you want a canteen, a canteen holds water. Hopefully, this water ain't old. It's not. Alright, bet. By the way, you can't get nasty water. If you get nasty water, your character goes drink it. His, his, bro, his thirst bar going down, he go throw up. But if you want to make a canteen, you need to be at a crafting bench. Make, bro, these are what crafting benches look like, bro. Make sure you're run around them for certain things. Like the uh, glider, bro. Because I talked to some, like, high-level player. He said he got the glider schematic and couldn't make it at the, um, the blacksmith. And I was like, bro, you got to go to a crafting bench. To make a canteen at the crafting bench, you need, like, three calabashes and some beeswax a good bit of beeswax you just get like three of each and then that should definitely be able to that should be enough for you to make it and to put water in it you just go near a water source and click on it and then it'll, your character will just go down what, what else do i have to say about that because there there's definitely something else bro i forgot there's definitely something else though but it might come back to me later all right babe also, there's another, there's a chest spawn here, unless they changed it, but there's a chest spawn at Isle of Visuals, where I'm going the wrong way, right? This chest gives you, um, it gives you shinies, right? I call them shinies because the guy that you sell them to, he's like, I want shinies, and it's basically like rubies, sapphires, emeralds, stuff like that, right? Things that will actually shine. I think, yeah, he does buy gold also, so... By the way, speaking of gold, if you're at Ethereum, right, and you sell to Lower Ethereum, which isn't far at all, basically, from the docks, to go to Lower Ethereum, there should be like a, can I show it from here? Nah, but there's like, like, there's kind of a, it's like a gate that looks, it has like a bunch of pipes, and it looks kind of industrial, you know? You go through there, it should be to your right and once you go there, you just take a left. And then just keep going until you go through another, what you call it, another little gate part. 
and then there you go you should find the island soon enough just keep sailing in like a straight direction the chest spawns here unless they changed it which they might have and if they don't you can just go to lower uh lower etheria that will get you a lot of good levels a lot of good money everything there everything is there make sure you got people with you though because you will die there if you don't have people a lot of bandit spawn and stuff that's how you get your money but without people you know it ain't gonna be easy bro which okay second this is something that a good bit of people probably know but if you don't pay too much attention you probably you probably don't know exactly how it's happening but it's happening to get power you have in you have a certain amount of investment points right you'll start out with five basically your investment points are how many points you need to upgrade in these i think this also i think this counts also in these and these right so you get five of these and you get a power up right so that's basically it bro you can just train anything and get a power up bro like you know put ankle weights on train uh like see look at that 42 went up now my investment points there let me see if I can actually, like, upgrade myself right quick so y'all can see for real how it works. Strength, maybe? There we go. See? I had two left. Now I got five again. I'm at, and once you level up, you'll get, you know, you'll get your cards or whatever. They can give you spell powers like how I got, you know, these lightning blade and joke grab. I got these from these. And the cards vary, bro. There's, like, they're randomized. So you move faster after doing a wall jump. Doesn't that already happen? Ooh. Hold on. That? Hold on. Parrying an opponent gives you 24. Give me that. No, sir. That's so good. Also, something that's very important. If I would have known this as a, as a noob, it would have saved me a good bit of wipes. So, basically, this is how your health goes, right? If you don't know already, you have three lives until your character wipes, right? First life, your health bar looks clean like that. Now, once you die once, your health bar gets what me and my friends call, we call it muddy. You get muddy health because it looks all dirty and nasty, all right? Then, if you die after that, you go to the, the like, depths, like the water, right, with all the jellyfish and stuff. You can exit that place, and if you exit it, you get all three of your lives back. And after that, if you die again, you're just gone. Simple, wiped. Now, the way to make it go back, if you thought that, oh, if you lose a life, it's permanent, it isn't. If you get more power, like, say you died once and you get more power, the lives go back to normal. They go back to three. That's, bro, I'm telling you that's such a good tip, bro. Isn't that so good, bro? Like, I bet you probably wiped because you died once or something or twice, and you're like, dang, I'm just cooked for life now. Because that's how I was, bro. For real, bro. I'm telling you, that joke is just so good. Another tip, don't ever buy food from this dude. This this dude right here, look at him. He is a scam. Don't ever buy nothing from him. You want you want a mushroom omelet? My G, find some eggs out of a tree. You need, like, what, two or three, bro? Make an omelet and then put some mushrooms in that joint, bro? Like, stop playing, dude. He, he is scamming you. Don't ever buy nothing from him. Also, let me, let me make a fire right quick. If you didn't know, you can make a fire out of one wood or three sticks. Actually, man, let me not even waste my wood for real. I'm gonna be selling that later. I'm gonna show y'all a couple of recipes right quick. No, no, I'm not. I'm I'm lying, bro. I'm gonna show y'all one recipe that I know that just actually helps. Let me build a fire. By the way, to light fires, you need flint. Flint is very cheap. Don't even worry about it. Now, this is one of the recipes that you are going to just, bro. It's so useful. You take sap, and you take any kind of fruit bro i'm gonna take what reds craft now i got candy fruit now i know what you're thinking what does candy fruit do i'm so glad you asked look now look at that boost it was is it bro that joke is not popping up bro i need the bro come on i need the boost it's not, it's not popping up, but I've seen it before because I ate the candy before. That's how I know the recipe. It gives you a boost to your magic damage. So you want candy fruits, bro. Make sure you're making candy fruits if you know you depending on magic, all right? If you depend on magic a lot, make candy fruits. 
And is that it? Like, is that all I can think of right now? I'm going to definitely make more videos as I learn more. Because, you know, I don't know a lot already. I know a good bit, though. I don't know a lot, though. I'm not going to still claim and say, oh, yeah, I know all this and all that. I don't. I really don't. Yeah, I think that's about it for real. So, yeah, that's, yeah. You know, that's just about it. Uh, also. Where's the store at? Is it down there? No. You, you, you'll probably see it, bro. It's the magic shop. It gives you, like, it's these orbs of things. It's these orbs of just powers, right? Once you get a magic ability, or maybe once you just level up, I don't know. Because, but... It'll let you do that, right? And it'll increase your... Whatever element you're with, it'll increase that. And it increases the damage of those moves. So just, you know... What you... Dang. Oh, oh! That reminds me now! Oh! That reminds me. To train willpower, you could just kill people for willpower. I did it. I did it when I joined in. Because they bopped up some dude. And I eliminated them. Like, you know... I uh pulled out my sword, clicked B. Right? Execute them. Once you execute them, it increases your willpower a little bit. Now, as a, as a fresh spawn, you won't need willpower too much. But it's not bad to go ahead and get it out the way. Because once you start going into, like, you know, deeper places that can actually make you go insane, you're going to want a good bit of willpower so you don't go insane. Right? You can also use prayer beads and just meditate like this. See? Willpower increasing. Simple. Dang, let me... Dang, let me get up, bruh. Also, this bar. I can't tell you what it is. I don't know what it's for. I just know that it goes up when you... I think that's... That might be like the rate you regen health or something like that. But it goes up when you rest that fires. So if it's low, just make a quick fire and rest, bro. There you go. See, yeah, that's like literally about it. What they talk about up here? They talking about birds? Why he hate birds, bro? You, you're bogus. Nah, I ain't gonna pull out my sword on, bro, but... He bogus for that, for real. But yeah, that'll be it, bro. That's basically all the tips that you... Re oh, oh, also, also, also. With another stat, intelligence. Charisma, you get by a book. It's called How to Make Friends. You just use that book around people, and you'll, like, have NPC dialogue, and your charisma will go up. To get intelligence, you could dead pick up mushrooms. Pick up anything in your, mush in your intelligence will go up somehow. I don't get how it does. Or you could just get the math book. Which is also in the book place, you know. And that'll make your intelligence go up. And if you want to know what everything does, you can literally just hover over it, bro. And for the weapons, all you got to do is read the weapon manual. Then it'll say your weapon's improving. And then you can go smack people up with it. You literally just fight after that. Alright, bro. There you go, bro. Because I don't think I'm going to remember anything else about any more information, bro. That's it, bro. That's the video. Peace.